everybody, this is Charles and I am back with another toy review This time for Bandai's Metal Build Strike Freedom Gundam Alright, so uh, Strike Freedom Gundam is an extremely huge box As you can see my camera is unable to capture the entire box But here is a uh, very awesome big looking uh, Gundam Alright, just here to show you some of the uh, box uh, art And uh, without further ado, let's go to show Strike Freedom Freedom Gundam! Alright, so um, prior to the review, I've actually assembled Strike Freedom Gundam. So he is a massive piece. Uh, let me just adjust the camera a little bit. Alright, so right now we are looking at Strike Freedom Gundam. So he's a massive piece with a massive backpack and a lot of accessories. Uh, and that's a lot, a lot of fun. So uh, he comes with the backpack uh, detached and the guns and the uh, side guns detached. But uh, and it also comes with this whole tray. This tray of uh, extra shields, beam saber, and a lot of hands. I'm not gonna go through them in detail for this review. I'm just gonna go through more on the robot. So uh, as you can see over here from the picture, uh, from the video, the backpack is extremely huge. All right. In fact, you look at the width of the backpack; it's even wider than the Gundam itself. So you can see there's a lot of weight uh, on on the backpack. But however, you can see that uh, for Freedom Strike Freedom Gundam. He can actually stand quite well on his own. You see, he's relatively vertically straight and he can stand quite well despite the weight of the backpack. The trick to make him stand on his own without having any stand is to uh, spread the legs apart. All right. I know it sounds a little bit wrong, but uh, you have to open the legs a little bit. All right. And as you open them, you have to angle them uh, outwards this way. So as long as you angle them outwards, this two base okay will act as support. Uh, such that when the weight is actually moving backwards, these two parts over here will also stop the uh, strike freedom from falling backwards. So, for him to actually stand on his own, you need to actually spread the legs wide a little bit, and then you gotta turn them out at an angle. So once you get it at a right angle, nice angle, he can stand relatively stable on his own this way without toppling over. All right. So this is how you actually get it done. Um, for the review proper, I have to uh, dismantle him a little bit so that it's easier for me to review him. So first off, let me just uh, get the backpack out, alright? So I'm going to detach the backpack. Alright, so I'll uh, go through the review on this backpack uh, later on. So first let me go through the review on uh, Strike Freedom, but before that let me just take out some of the uh, extra parts on, on Strike Freedom. Okay. So let me just shift this uh, forward first. Shift this part forward as well. Okay, and once I've done it, let me just take them out first. Yeah, so it's easier for me to review the figure. All right, so here we have um, Strike Freedom Gundam. So it's very, very. He's a very nice and awesome figure. So uh, there's a lot of gold color to him. So. As you can see, this, uh, the joints over here, the elbow, these are chrome gold, alright? Similarly to the wrist over here, this gold part is chrome gold. The fist is painted uh, chrome, alright? If I were to show you over here, the inside the shoulder portion, the gold, the outside portion of this gold is actually painted, but the inside portion of the joint, alright, is actually paint, uh, gold chrome. Okay, gold chrome uh, metal. And uh, over here, internally, you see over here, this is uh, painted, right? Inside here is painted as well. Okay, and then you have to lift up the uh, side skirts over here. The inner frame over here, all right? This entire part of the hip portion, all right? Inside the gold, it's gold chrome. Really, really awesome. All right, as for the knees as well, gold chrome. Okay, metallic gold, and this uh, portion is actually painted. So same as the feet as well, this portion inside, gold chrome. So there's a lot of uh, die cast parts, okay, that's gold chrome, which is really amazing. And I, I really, really love it. All right. So um, right now, let's go through the articulation from head to toe, head wise. Okay, the neck wise, you can move front, back, all right. Quite a really nice range of motion. You can also move the uh, neck portion sideways. You can see over here, you can move it sideways. All right. So as a usual, be careful when handling the head because these fins are plastic, okay, they're not rubber and there's no replacement part. So do exercise caution when you're actually uh, moving them. The chest part is very interesting. So over here you see the chest part when you move it downwards, okay, you hear a click sound. So you can actually see this part actually moving down a line. So this black part will move down along the blue portion, see, it's really nice and you can hear a click sound as well. And as you move down, it reveals more of the back part of the gold, so it's really cool. 
can just move back up and over here you can move sideways all right and the waist you can rotate it as well okay so shoulders wise all right shoulders wise the concept is similar to uh, the freedom gundam you can actually pop it up this way so the way the joint is made is such that it allows you to actually move it up this much but unlike the strike uh, unlike the freedom whereby you cannot move the shoulders beyond uh, this point Banda has actually allowed you to actually move this 360 so while this portion of the shoulder is actually movable to allow you to do certain poses uh, to move up without having to move the shoulder all the way um, it doesn't restrict you from moving the entire arm around so you can actually have unlimited uh, posability for strike freedom which is really cool so over here the shoulder can move up this cap can move upwards the inside portion this can actually move upwards as well so you can actually move your hands upward this much and uh, if you look at the shoulder points over here you can see that this this uh, shoulder pad here it actually can move as well so there's a lot of articulation and similarly looking over, looking over here you can actually stretch the uh, move the arms shoulder portion outwards as well it's very cool and over here okay the elbow wise the shoulder wise you can actually rotate it over here but it's really really stiff so right now i haven't been able to uh, rotate it much it's really really stiff and it takes a lot of strength for me to move it so i'm not going to uh, strain this figure since it's so brand new um, but what i can show you guys okay let me just take out this portion first okay take out this portion and the lower part of the elbow can actually rotate as well so over here you see i can actually rotate this part of the elbow 360 if i want to and then i can actually this has a double jointed elbow that allows me to move all the way in so you can see it actually moves all the way in this much so it's really awesome in terms of the um, articulation let me just um, straighten this out okay as i straighten this out i'm going to rotate this portion back okay and over here the wrist wise look at the articulation for the wrist you can actually move it up down this much so there's really a lot of articulation going on over here and yes this uh, inner part here is gold chrome right so cool so for this portion this is actually the shield portion so what you want to do if you want to actually change the shield you need to take the uh, beam saber all right you just uh, push this bottom out once it's out okay you just uh, fit the other portion in so this thing okay it's actually a two-part shield so this is soft plastic and this is hard plastic all right soft and hard so when you push this uh, in you got the shield over here so this shield you know you can just rotate it uh, you can just uh, place it back over here so you can do it for both sides all right so I'm just um, take this out I'm gonna replace this accessory again okay put this back in okay actually I'm done with the uh, upper part of the um, articulation so for the skirt wise you can actually move it up this much by 90 degrees and you can actually move the skirt outwards as well similarly for the back skirt you can move it all the way about the I think it's a good 70 degrees all right okay just get this out of the way and then in terms of uh, moving the legs uh, sideways you can actually move it in close to uh, 90 degrees all right so I think about 70 degrees over 70 degrees over here and the joint over here okay it's interesting in the fact that you can actually move it upwards okay so the joint right now is actually this entire joint rather than just having a uh, the um, thighs tight uh, packed into a ball joint at the hip the hip portion is now actually a rotated movable joint by itself as you can see I'm not sure my camera can capture it clearly so this is actually a joint by itself that actually moves all right so this actually gives uh, freedom more articulation okay you can actually do the kneeling pose easily let me just uh, show you guys over here so you can actually do the kneeling pose very effortlessly over here okay but the the fact that the uh, thigh joint is made this way allows the thigh to actually move forward more all right so it's actually very cool and even to move the knees uh, upwards and then you should move down to show the double jointed knees this is very cool as well like i said earlier go chrome really awesome all right let's just move this down first okay and now turning our attention to the back here the um, 
fins okay you can actually move the back fins upwards and the detail inside is really really cool so you can see the the uh, fins at the back here so at the, at the back they actually painted this portion gold and also in the uh, inner side of the funnel it's uh, silver so there's a lot of effort to actually paint this piece which is uh, makes it really really awesome and worth the uh, very expensive price tag that it carries yes it is um, 27,000 uh, Japanese yen uh, which I think is about close to, uh, based on the current exchange rate, probably 255 or 260 US dollars, right? And the uh, bottom part, this part of the uh, feet, you can't move it, but you can actually move the other part of the feet, okay? To uh, actually move it according to the pose that you want to uh, have. And over here, you can actually move the ankle this much, and uh, there we more or less have. Uh, Freedom, uh, Strike Freedom Gundam, okay. I've gone through more or less the articulation for the uh, robot itself. Okay, let me just adjust the alignment. Okay, this is um, should done. Does he stand right? Okay, he's standing a little bit tilted. Let me just adjust him a little bit. Yes, I'm uh, quite a perfectionist when it comes to uh, adjusting the uh, pose of my Gundam figures. Okay, this feels right. Okay. So I'm gonna uh, move him away for the time and go through the other parts of his accessories. So over here, before I actually assemble this portion, this is supposed to be his uh, waist cannon. So you actually open it up, right? Like so. Okay, once you open it up, you actually extend this. And there you have the uh, waist cannon over here. So there's two parts of it, uh, which I'll assemble in a while later. Um, and right now, okay, since I'm at it, okay, since I'm at it, I might as well assemble the uh, waist cannon. So the waist cannons wise, you can actually assemble them, pack it in over here. Okay, one over here. Oops. The um, beam saber portion tends to fall off anyway. This is the uh, beam saber portion. Yeah, typical beam saber of a metal build figure. So this part, actually, the uh, handle fits in over here, but it tends to fall out pretty easily sometimes. Yeah, because it doesn't really stay in there tightly. So over here, you put the other side in as well. So there's two ways to actually display his uh, waist. Uh, so over here, you can see I can actually display him this way. So when he's in attack mode, you actually open it up, extend it, and uh, there you have the waist cannon. All right. Okay, let me just uh, transform it back. Okay, but when he's actually not using the waist cannon, what you can do actually is just to uh, pull down over here this skirt. Okay, you can see you can pull it down, and then you can flip it to the back. Okay, like I said, this uh, beam saber actually falls off pretty easily. Uh, by the way, this part can rotate and move it to the back. And you can see that these two portions actually align really nicely. So this part, when you actually move it to the back, it aligns very very nicely. Okay, so once you actually align these two uh, parts together, you see you have these two uh, packs. These are actually for you to actually pack in his uh, beam rifles. So, okay, let me adjust this. So, Strike Freedom actually comes with actually two beam rifles as well. You can actually uh, attach at the sides. Okay, but the beam rifle itself is really cool. Um, it's not just any ordinary beam rifle. It can actually be assembled into a massive long beam rifle, which I, do, I shall do right now. So by itself, uh, you will see that the beam rifle is as such. So it's two identical beam rifles. Okay, two identical beam rifles. Let me just uh, put it to the back. So technically, it should be exactly the same, but they are actually different. So how to actually form the long beam rifle, what you want to do first, uh, I'm going to get the right one. Okay, this is the correct one. Okay, you actually extend over here, so it's a double, so you extend the rifle over here. You got to unpack uh, this portion over here. Okay, so when you unpack this, you actually unlock it. So you unlock it, push this portion downwards, all right? It allows you to show, extend the um, handle over here, so you pull it all the way down. Okay, once this is down, you will close this, uh, you push in this grey pack again to lock it in place. Okay, this portion, pull it, okay, rotate 90 degrees downwards, and push it in again. Okay, so you're done for this part of the gun. Okay, for the second part of the gun, um, you have to extend, okay, extend the back portion. So you just pull and extend this part, alright. Once you're done, 
Okay, this portion of the rifle goes into this uh, hole over here and there you have the entire rifle. This rifle is really long. This badass rifle is 27 centimeters long. How long in inches? You do the conversion but it is 27 inches long and this is his really cool core double beam rifle. Right? It's really, really cool. And just, uh, okay, so it's uh, yeah, so the beam rifle is Okay, it stays in pretty tight. Okay, it doesn't really fall, but you know, when you lock it, when you actually lock it in, it doesn't feel like it stays in that tight. But when you shake it, it doesn't really fall out. So this portion is done. Uh, the instructions do say to be careful when handling uh, the uh, rifle. So do be careful when you're handling this rifle. Let me just pull this side in. And uh, remember, whenever you pull it back, you got to pull this portion out. Okay, pull this, pull it back in push it up all right and then you lock it in uh, but in this case you don't lock it in because I'm gonna put it at the side anyway so I'm gonna put him uh, put the rifle at the side here right and move the arms down okay so now for, uh, I'm going to um, go through the wing pack this is a backpack of uh, Strike Freedom. So this is the most awesome part of Strike Freedom. Um, and uh, die cast portion wise, you have the chrome joints over here. Right? You can see in between the wings and over here the side, these are the chrome joints. In terms of uh, movement wise for this, you can actually move the thrusters downwards over here, you can move it downwards over here. Alright, the um, top of the wing portion over here. Actually this part, okay, these four parts are all, okay, so this part and these four parts are all identical, alright? They are all very identical. So you can actually move this like one notch up, one notch, one notch down, sorry, and uh, one notch up. So you can do it the same for both sides. And you can actually move the, you can actually rotate the wings, okay? So if you want to, you can rotate the wings. Or you can actually have the wings facing backwards. Depending on how you like to pose your Strike Freedom Gundam, alright? But the uh, of course the highlight of this is that you can actually extend expand the wing. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna raise it all the way up, okay, and extend the uh, wings. So when you raise it up, you actually will align it as such. Okay, let me see if I align it correctly. Yep, I'm actually aligning it correctly. So this is one side of the wing. Okay, so similar, you move the uh, back portion up all the way. Move this up. Actually, move this down. Move this up a little bit. Should align them nicely. Move this. Okay. Should I have it got it nice correctly? Yes. Just gotta move it up a little bit more. And this is the wings uh, totally open. Really cool. So in order to uh, so you need to remove the wings from the funnel. So when you're removing the wings from the funnel, do exercise caution. Uh, so you need to pull it out. Okay. Once you pull it out. Okay, do not pull it out this way. Once you pull it out, you, once you uh, actually extend it outwards, pull it down straight. Alright, so this is one funnel. So let's do the uh, other ones. Pull it, okay, and extend it straight. So it's really, really tight, so you got to be really careful when actually doing this part. Okay, I'm going to do this off camera because it's uh, it's going to take a lot of quite a bit of effort for me to actually get it out. Okay, I'm going to do it off camera. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty tight. So I got uh, another one of it out. Okay, so this uh, smaller one. Pull it. Get it out. All right. Pull it. And. Okay, get it out. So once you get all the wings out, you actually get this. Okay, and uh, we all know that the uh, the wings of light parts are coming. Okay, I'm not going to extend the other side because it's going to be a lot of effort to actually take it out. So what I'm going to say is that, look at the joints over here. See this teeth, right? This plastic over here is pretty thin, especially for this one, the lower part as well. So you can see this lower part that, that holds the uh, small funnel, all right? This part of the plastic is really thin, all right? So you got to be careful because I'm worried that if you were to actually pull it out this way too much, okay, to pull it out this way, you might end up stressing the plastic over here and breaking something. So be really careful. When uh it, when actually taking out the uh, funnels out, so like I said, uh, just 
pull it up a little bit and pull it down okay so that you will actually minimize the stress on this similarly for this way as well the teeth if you were to actually pull it out this way i'm very sure that the plastic here will get stressed and strain you might even break something so the best is just to get it out and pull it downwards all right so i'm going to put this uh all of them uh, back in so as you put it back in make sure you align it as closely as possible okay as closely as possible get it in once you get it in push it in it slots in very nicely so similarly over here get in as close as possible and once you uh, feel the catch over it in just push it in right as closely as possible get it in push it down okay nicely let me just see if I get the alignment correct for this one just to make sure I got the alignment correct yep okay okay good so finally for this part make sure I got the uh, Okay, slot it in nicely. Okay. Okay, okay. Make sure I get it correctly. Okay. Okay, good. All right. Slot it in nicely. Cool. Great, great, great. All right. So I got the wings uh, done nicely. Let me just align them nicely first before I put it back on the backpack. Okay. Okay, align it nicely. So cool. I got the wings aligned nicely. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to insert the backpack onto uh, Strike Freedom. So we just going to pack it in. So this part goes into here. The black, the... Uh, here and here we have strike freedom gundam all right so like i said uh if you actually had the uh, pose him correctly with the uh, legs open outwards okay he will stand pretty well on his own without having to uh, need a stand so over here you see he stands pretty very really well on his own without having a stand you can see the awesomeness of the uh, wings spread out and just uh, raise this up a little bit so cool so really really cool and so massively amazing all right so uh, he does come with a stand which uh, of course i'm not showing it in the review right now as per most of the review i need to show uh, and go through the details of the robot so strike freedom is really really awesome in terms of the engineering in terms of the weight there's a lot of die cast whatever gold chrome you see okay it's in a plated gold chrome you see it's actually all die cast and uh, it's, it's really really awesome and Strike Freedom has been the figure that we've been waiting for since uh, Freedom Gundam uh, I know a lot of people don't really like Freedom Gundam because they feel that it's not really a very good piece there has been some quality issues with the paint or whatever but personally I, I like Freedom Gundam a lot and, and Strike Freedom is really a great addition to the uh, Metal Build family something that we've been waiting for a long time this figure is actually sold out all over the world so uh, if you get your hands on this i would recommend you get a hand on it uh and but, but i'm pretty sure even if you miss it out this time around some years down the road bandai will probably really issue reissue this piece uh but in the meantime if you can't wait you uh, should get it as soon as possible so i highly recommend this piece this is really really the best metal build figure uh, i've actually got since uh, the uh, double o riser and i uh, highly recommend you to get it so here's Charles signing off with yet another toy review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time. A lot of accessories uh, and that's a lot, a lot of fun. So uh, he comes with the backpack uh, detached and the guns and the uh, side guns detached. But uh, and also comes with this whole tray. This tray of uh, extra shields, beam saber and a lot of hands. I'm not going to go through them in detail. For this review, I'm just going to go through more on the robot. So, uh, as you can see over here from the picture, uh, from the video, the backpack is extremely huge, alright? In fact, you look at the width of the backpack, it's even wider than the Gundam itself. So, you can see there's a lot of weight uh, on, on the backpack. However, you can see that uh, for Freedom Strike Freedom Gundam, he can actually stand quite well on his own. You see, he's relatively vertically straight and can stand quite well despite the weight of the backpack. So it's easier for me to review him. So first off, let me just uh, get the backpack out, all right? So I'm gonna detach the backpack. All right, so I'll uh, go through the review on this backpack uh, later on. So first, let me go through the review on uh, Strike Freedom. But before that, let me just take out some of the uh, extra parts on, on Strike Freedom. Okay. 
So let me just shift this uh, forward first. Shift this part forward as well. Okay, and once I've done it, let me just take them out first. Yeah, so it's easier for me to review the figure. All right, so here we have um, Strike Freedom Gundam. So it's very, very. He's a very. The trick to make him stand on his own without having any stand is to uh, spread the legs apart. All right. I know it sounds a little bit wrong, but uh, you have to open the legs a little bit. All right. And as you open them, you have to angle them uh, outwards this way. So as long as you angle them outwards, these two base, okay, will act as support. Uh, such as when the weight is actually moving backwards, these two parts, okay, will also stop the uh, strike freedom from falling backwards. So. For him to actually stand on his own, you need to actually spread the legs wide a little bit and then you gotta turn them out at an angle. So once you get it at a right angle, nice angle, he can stand relatively stable on his own this way without toppling over. Alright, so this is how you actually get it done. Um, for the review proper, I have to uh, dismantle him a little bit. Nice and awesome figure. So uh, there's a lot of gold color to him. So as you can see, this, uh, the joints over here, the elbow, these are chrome gold, alright? Similarly to the wrist over here, this gold part is chrome gold. The fist is painted uh, chrome, alright? If I were to show you over here, the inside the shoulder portion, the gold, the outside portion of this gold is actually painted, but the inside portion of the joint, alright, is actually paint, uh, gold chrome. Okay, gold chrome uh, metal. And uh, over here, internally, you see over here, this is uh, painted, right? Inside here is painted as well. Okay, and then you have to lift up the uh, side skirts over here. The Everybody, this is Charles and I am back with another toy review. This time for Bandai's Metal Build Strike Freedom Gundam. Alright, so uh, Strike Freedom Gundam is an extremely huge box. As you can see, my camera is unable to capture the entire box. But here is a uh, very awesome big looking uh, Gundam alright just here to show you some of the uh, box uh, art and uh, without further ado let's go to show Strike Freedom Gundam alright so um, prior to the review I've actually assembled Strike Freedom Gundam so he is a massive piece uh, let me just adjust the camera a little bit alright so right now we're looking at Strike Freedom Gundam so here's a massive piece with a massive backpack 